Hi, this is uh, my spotlight uh, feature on Tango Fire, uh, which is a plant that I recently acquired from um, Tropical Gardens here in Canada. And it is um, a cross between uh, Puerera Bangkok Sunset and Renanthera Storii. So, um, the plant is quite wide, so I would not consider this as a compact plant, uh, but it is quite a unique plant. So it is about, about 22 inches across or maybe 56-ish centimeters across. So. Um, I think this is as wide as it gets, so if you're going to get an adult plant, this is what it's going to look like. Um, so when I purchased it, it uh, came with two spikes, and the spikes are um, making some progress. Uh, this one here is coming along quite nicely. Well, maybe I'll turn it around the other way. And the other one is still um, quite short, and it's um, somewhere in here. So I'm not going to bother showing you that, but it's there. It's growing a little bit slower than uh, than this first spike, but that's okay. Um, so as long as there's some progress, um, uh, then I'm happy with the plant. So one of my viewers uh, um, has also bought one. From tropical gardens and uh, she just wants to know how I, I grow this plant well I think these plants probably are more comfortable hanging basically from a basket but uh, I don't have space to hang things uh, in my living room I just have a stand and so I have to put them in pots um, so and for me vandas are so much easier to care for when they're in a in a pot because I when I water them I either spray them or I fill up the pot um, with water and fertilizer and it and this way it also prevents uh, cross-contamination between plants and the reason why I chose this pot is because it's it's quite sturdy because the plant is, is quite heavy um, so all I did was basically twirl I don't know if you can see that, but I just twirled the roots inside the pot. Um, and I'm using a bonsai wire here, as you can see. I hooked it up just on this side. And it's propped up against the pot so that the plant doesn't fall over. Uh, so since arriving, other than the spike growing, um, there are some active roots within the pot. Um, but it's, they're very difficult to show, but I don't want to lift the plant. Well, anyways, I'll do it anyways. But over here, it's come out with a new stem root, and you can see another active root here and here. So, and here. Anyways, the plant, the plant seems um, quite happy where it is. So, um, it's sitting on a southwest window, and it's getting quite a bit of light. Um, about one o'clock onwards, which is usually not a good idea for uh, for a lot of plants because a lot of them can't seem to take uh, that kind of heat. Um, but this one um, is fine. Uh, it has these red markings, but this is quite common for some vandas when they get bright light. Um, it's it's not a sign that they're sick. Uh, just certain types of vandas, if they have a uh, wrinkle stylus in them, they, they will have red marks. Uh, it's nothing bad. I mean, if it gets too excessive, that means you're really um, pushing the plant's capacity um, in, in certain light. And as I'm turning this plant around, I just noticed that it's coming up with an active root, even on this aerial root. So that's good. Um, anyways, 
probably not the the prettiest uh, arrangement for for um, tango fire but uh, that's all I'm gonna do with it I don't I really don't want to stress the plant too much before it it uh, finishes flowering and uh, my assumption is that this plant is probably gonna form more uh, stem roots um, I and I, I think basically soaking it overnight once a week in my in my environment is fine and on the hotter days I will just um, spray the roots uh, in the pot and I think that's all I'm gonna do with this plant for now and I'm hope hopefully the plant will tell me if it likes what I'm doing so I'm hoping that these spikes produce some beautiful red flowers. I'll, I'll probably post a, a picture somewhere. So these are supposed to be very, very floriferous uh, in, in say, Florida, where they can bloom uh, more than once a year, basically, in, uh, in that kind of climate. Um, so... I hope you've enjoyed this spotlight on uh, Tango Fire, and uh, thank you for watching.